What's going on, Capricorns and Cross Watchers? It appears to me that there's a lot of good news coming in. Good news coming in after a period of isolation. Some of you receiving it from a Virgo. But before we get into all that, family, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know where it is that you're watching from. Capricorns and everybody else. Consistently in the readings lately, we've been seeing this isolation for some of you, being single, doing something on your own, separating yourself from your friends and family, and a lot of weight being seemingly lifted up off of your shoulders. Now go ahead and check out the Capricorn playlist. You clearly see. Um, some of y'all getting some clarity on some situations. We see things working out. We hear whispers about you with this high priestess, but not only that, knowing that at the center of this, trusting your gut on your next move on what it is that you should be doing. And also this energy of keeping quiet right now, knowing when to speak. We see this eight of swords, which is the only thing that's kind of giving me an eyebrow raise, but it's, it's it, almost this energy of being like stuck. But the opportunities are definitely presenting themselves. But I almost feel like there's a stuckness or somebody being stuck on, I should say. Since stuckness is not a word. Um, I feel like on a particular situation. Like somebody's got their sights set on a particular person, thing, job opening, offering. I'm almost curious to what that is. So this, what's underneath? Mm, okay. We see the two of cups, ace of pentacles. And this. Let's talk about many opportunities to partner up, buddy up, business opportunities, career opportunities, lots of suitors and women wanting to get in your face. Let's go to the Cheesecake Factory. Let's do something opportunities presenting themselves all the way around so getting it back into this hangman we have virgo pisces pisces which has been heavy lately on the board so far this hangman clarity but some of you dealing with pisces take it however it resonates Some of you getting clarity on an opportunity here, a new opportunity, a new venture. Some of you getting clarity on a, when I think of the Ace of Wands, a situation, a situationship, a dating situation. Oh, oh, look at that. We see this Ace of Wands and the Empress, Taurus, Big Libra. Somebody's moving out of a situation that is new into something that is more solid and stable. Some of you moving from boyfriend and girlfriend, Lord to fiance, husband and wife. Higher levels of commitment here. Higher levels of even responsibilities with this empress. Because for me as a reader, because I know this isn't for everybody. Tarot police. When I look at the empress and the emperor, I look at them very similarly as far as powerful people. So it could be that you're, you are a woman who's getting a boost. It could be that you are a man and a woman is coming to give you a boost. But anyway, a leveling up in the workplace. Some of you turning a relationship into something. Some of y'all, a pregnancy coming on. But a situation going from it with the Ace of Wands, something light and new to something very serious. And it also speaks to a very quick change. But clarity on a relationship is nice. This Three of Pentacles, other opportunities working themselves out. And notice these three ladies in the kitchen baking something. The story of the, the little red hen. 
And then you see this Leo energy here with the strength card. Those of you that are putting forth continuous effort, you are about to start reaping the benefits of your hard work. That strength card, you know, you reap what you sow. What goes around comes around. That energy. Those of you that have been putting in the work, seeing the results. So not just this four of pentacles here, which is really nice, but this eight of pentacles as well. What is this new creative venture some of y'all have been going on? Some of you, it very it's very easy to say artists here, like painting or ceramics even, but it could just be working with your hands. Cosmetologists, um, it could even be the people in the tech field. But this new project with this Eight of Pentacles, bringing in a lot of success, again, for those of you that are continuously working, continuously putting forth effort, giving it, you know, 110%, keeping yourself more on track than you are off track, procrastinators. And what is this warning not to rush? Or to be careful about a new person coming in with this page of wands. There could be an age difference between you and them. And that knight and this knight of pentacles. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes on a situation that's requiring you to move very quickly. Seemingly has a lot of potential, and I'm not saying that it doesn't. Or that there's not something there. But there's a need to take something slow. And you get that in two ways. But this Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving night. The slowest moving. And for some of you that has to do with buy, buying a car, purchasing a car. It could even be signing a lease, taking a, a new job. What else for this warning on needing to slow down on something? Hey, Mama. Shout out to the salespeople, real estate agent, car salesman, furniture, whatever it is. There's an opportunity to just jump on something. And it is given the vibes of it sounding too good to be true, especially for those of you in sales. There's a need to do your research here with the Three of Pentacles before you make a move. Or to take your time before you fully commit. Because for some, there may be some legal ramifications that you just mm, don't want to deal with or you don't want to get clarification when it's too late. If you're straddling the fence, it's probably because you want to avoid it. And even with the queen of wands, yeah, red flags and a need to stay by yourself. That a situation may, it may not be, it may not be what you want. And that may be because it's not even in the fine print. The moon twice, or excuse me, not twice. I'm looking at the moon and this high priestess behind her. The Pisces. Yeah. An offer that seems too good to be true. Watch it. Especially if you're having to move fast. So this Eight of Swords, what is this feeling stuck, some of you? Some of you feeling stuck about whether or not to reunite. With someone, could even be a friend group. And I almost get all these pumpkins here in the background. If it doesn't have to do with something regarding Halloween, whether you celebrate or not, um, or Thanksgiving, because you don't really do pumpkin pie at Christmas time, and surely not for New Year's. Um, yeah. Let's talk about this, this Three of Cups, the Devil, some of you are reunion with the Capricorn, and we see this Eight of Swords, but I, I want to move this light. Oh, I'm not so clear from the camera, on my camera actually. Okay, sorry. 
I'm just gonna have to move these up. So we see, what is this being unsure? Um, which I just did a, a reading similar to this about reuniting with someone. Somebody was toxic, could even have had addictions, could have been very um, money and or ego driven, controlling with the devil. Um, and even could have, it could even be just somebody who's always down, negative, in the dumps, whether that's a mindset or even just heavily depressed, whether or not to re-engage with somebody and, uh, and being heavily on the fence. And this Eight of Swords, in this Eight of Swords, you see all of them down as if you've not been in communication with this person for some of you. And the eight showing up. Shout out to the um, Capricorns with eights in their birthday and especially born in the year 88. But then you look at this one here and you see these swords going in two different directions. Some of you are on the fence about whether or not to be continue to engage or re-engage With a toxic individual, whether it's due to, you know, consciously or subconsciously or problems and issues outside of their control, seemingly. Somebody's wanting to reconnect. Somebody's wanting to see, you know, what's going on with someone. Oh, it was just that simple, huh? And some of you are definitely majorly on the fence about it. So let's clarify the toxic issue. And some of you, I, I almost feel like it's a group. We see the devil here in an enslaved man and woman. It may not just be one person. And even in that three of cups, you see more than one person. But anyway. Not a smooth talking ear sign. Um, I almost want to say that part of this is this person is very blunt, but it's the way that somebody speaks. Now, whether that's a negative mindset or that they're a liar with this devil, with this clarifying the devil, there's no telling. But then you see this. Mm. Then you see this. Oh, oh, oh. See, somebody might like to drink and start some drama here. Drink, throw stones, and hide their hands. Some of you have had to make a major judgment call, a major decision here, choice, and are willing to deal with the consequences of, I feel like letting somebody go. Oh. And really struggling with it. This nine of swords, having a lot of anxiety and stress. Capricorns, can you please drop a sign of this person? Friend, ex, could even be family member. That is wanting to reunite. Everything seems to be going well. And some of you are just like, oh, no. Anybody but them. Shout out to the Sagittarius Cuspers but really, really straddling the fence about whether or not to even speak to this person, to unblock them, give them an opportunity here. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who is very codependent, needy, or their happiness was dependent on other people. The sevens. Shout out to those of you with the seven in your birthday and the year 77. The seven of air, sneaky, a liar, a cheater, a thief, and that seven of wands. Some of you, it was indeed a trust issue, a major trust issue, the way that somebody spoke. I, I, some of y'all can't stand to be around somebody just because they're negative. Like they don't have anything good to say, especially when it comes to family and our money, finances, and opportunities. It really speaks to somebody who's unhappy. Some of that was an old coworker, maybe even work nights with them, third shift, early mornings. I don't want to spend too much more time on that. So Capricorns. Looking at the, okay, there we go. Moving Miss Sophia. Shout out to the watchers in Italy. Um, what are these new opportunities that some of you are set your sights on? Some of 
y'all are very interested in moving. Yeah, I'm going to keep that just like that. Moving. Some of you are looking for a home, looking for a new place to live, and really always have an alarm going off. Uh oh, it's, oh, it's 7 o'clock. I'm early. Early, early. Okay. Excusez-moi. Some of you are looking to move far away, looking to find jobs far away, looking to find work, opportunities. Some of you are, are really looking to relocate. Where are you trying to go? Some of you looking to leave the country. Maybe some of you focus on a vacation. But we see this man here at a distance, seemingly all by himself, as we got that energy here. And this globe in his hands. And that eight of wands coming out like that. I feel like some of you are being very quiet about wanting to move away. Yes, very quiet. And the way that this person is pulling money out of the safe, it could be that you've been secret, secretly saving up for this big move, big vacation, big trip. Oh, where are you going? Don't tell me. What else for this wanting to move? What, some of y'all want to move to the Caribbean. Mm, shout out to the Virgin Islands. The Bahamas, Jamaica, ooh, Captain Jack Sparrow with the Knight of Cups. But moving, as well as I feel like some of you feeling the need to buy a boat and heavy on the traveling, moving. Some of you wanting to buy an RV and travel. I almost get some of you wanting to backpack the way this Two of Wands and the Chariot is is looking, but some of you looking to, real, to not just physically move, taking a trip, but a trip may inspire a, a permanent move, finding a job there, looking for opportunities. Oh, Capricorns. Oh. And some of y'all being very anxious to take on this move and do something, opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. There's some place I feel like that you've been researching, but I feel like that you've been there. That is checking all of your boxes. And some of you have been heartbroken about having to leave. Some of you traveling, looking for places back home. Maybe you don't currently live where it is that you're from. Some of you, maybe where your father's from, King of Pentacles. Um, but been determined to get to this place. Or to find a job here so that you can so that you can move. And a lot of that has to do with the, the way that you feel when you're there. Complete, happy. And again, that Ten of Cups, it gives the family vibes. The Ten of Cups twice. Last card about this major move. And we're going to be up out of here. Because I don't want to take all day. Some of y'all, especially those of you, I feel like that work over the internet, um, especially those of you that work from home, taking full advantage of that and making a major move. Traveling while you have the ability to work and do so, or a lot of you have saved again to make this major move safe so you can take some time off. But a lot of y'all are moving, doing something for you, or found a place that gives you peace and clarity that makes you feel balanced. Mm. Especially those of you, I feel like that work in the just criminal justice field. Moving. When one door closes, especially those of you that work in the criminal justice field, um, making some major changes and really everything falling into place again during this period of isolation, whether you chose it or it chose you, Capricorns, it looks like things are going very well. Capricorns and cross watchers, thank you so much for joining me for this reading. Please hit the like button. Let me know it resonated for you. Um, check out the playlist, join the family, and I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.